guys, Moreau Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right guys, today I will be sharing a little bit of my brand new Miami home. I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on all of the home decor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and show you guys pieces that I've already had from my recent Miami apartment and a few new things that I've gotten in, especially from like Amazon y'all have been on Amazon getting all the goods if that interests you make sure you stick around and we're gonna hop right into my outfit of the day and then we are going to get into all of this home decor all right guys so the lip is actually a mixture of two lipsticks because I did shoot earlier today it is a mixture of Fenty Unveil, which is a brown, and then I put my favorite red, which is NARS Mysterious Red Lip Pencil on top of that, and it created this beautiful like brick color. I will link both lipsticks down below. The earrings are super old. They are Colt Gaia, and they really match well with this stunning dress from Day Mademoiselle that I picked up at Curio Bazaar at Fiena Market here in Miami Beach one of my favorite places to shop. And I just thought for this video, this beautiful silk dress would be perfect for the occasion. So that is my outfit of the day. Anything that's still available will be linked down below. We're gonna head on down to the living dining area and we're gonna start there. So we are here in the kitchen, living, and dining area. It's all just one big room. A lot of the things that I have in this space are from my old apartment. So as you can see, I have some brand new flowers in. These were actually sent over by my good friend, Janae of High Low Lux, just to congratulate me for my new home. She is super sweet and they smell so good and they match my dress. So thank you, Janae. But I have them placed here on this pretty much like a concrete block table. This table is from CB2. I've had this table for a little while ever since I was in my previous Miami apartment. I love it. It might be a little too big for this space so I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep it or find a smaller table, but for the sake of right now, I'm still having it inside. If I decide to get a new table, I'm going to put this out in my patio area. I do have outdoor space. I'm probably never going to show that space though. This table is wonderful. It gives a very minimal look. For the chairs, I got both of these chairs from Target. I can believe it or not. I'll link these chairs down below. They were very popular back in like 2020, kind of during the pandemic. I love the black and white feel. The placemats I actually got from Pottery Barn, When I love the placemats. And then the rug is just a faux cowhide rug from Wayfair. Um, and they come in a ton of different colors. I love this like light, kind of whitish, brownish, because it really blends in with my flooring. My flooring is almost like a birch with grays running through it. I wanted everything in this space to be very light and bright to keep the space bright. So all of the walls are painted a very kind of stark white and the floors are a very light birch color. The floors are not hardwood. They are kind of like a wood laminate, which is very popular here in Florida because termites are very huge in southern Florida and can destroy your home. So I chose non-wood particles throughout my space. All right guys, so this little area here is where my TV will go on the wall. Um, I actually <laughs> have to have someone come out and put all of this together still. There's still a few things with this space that 
needs to be fixed and updated but that's another story for another day this is where the tv will go and this here actually used to be a credenza in my old miami apartment but i will be using it now as a tv console but my tv will be mounted to the wall so i got this tv console from amazon and i actually did i hire someone to build it or did i build it myself i think i hired a task rabbit to build it but if you ever need anything like built anything mounted and you don't want to do it yourself but you want to make sure it's done right all you have to do is order someone via the app task rabbit which is really amazing i had a task rabbit come and build this it only took him about i don't know an hour um, but i believe they still have these in different colors on amazon so everything you see from amazon i'm going to put in my amazon shop and i'm going to link down below for you to check everything out but right now i have all of my vessels all of my vases all of my books everything is just kind of against this wall because i am having shelving units installed to kind of show off my vessels and things so right now they're all just here so i can see what i have but let's get into my books and then we'll get into my vessels my vases and such all right guys let's get into the books because you guys know i love books first up is the new tom ford book it is the 002 book you can get this at amazon and at target it's currently on sale for around 80 bucks it's super thick it has some incredible photography in here of Rihanna, Andre Leon Talley, just a lot of black excellence inside this book. And I think it's great, especially if you have a beautiful coffee table or a credenza where you have a book stand and you can open it up to different pages and create a different feel um, anytime you flip the page. That's more than likely what I'll end up doing here is getting a really nice book stand so I can open it up or even when I have more space on it <laughs> open it up to a page and just create different feels in my space every time I turn the page I mean look at Rihanna and Jay-Z like vibes I will link this book down below again it's definitely available at Amazon and at Target. Um, I also have the black version with the white letters as well, but that is in my office. So I will link that version as well. Next up, I have a Louis Vuitton book, The Birth of Modern Luxury. And I really just wanted this book because I'm a huge Louis Vuitton fan. And of course, I love the colors, which are pretty much the colors of my home, which are like a brown, black, white, beige. Those are the colors I'm going for for my space. And it was just very interesting learning about the brand. This book I actually picked up from Marshalls. If you did not know, you can shop Marshalls online and they will deliver. Um, they have a ton of home decor books so i'll be sure to link a few of my favorite home decor books from marshall's down in the description box and you can check them out next up we have a favorite that <laughs> everyone has and that is the architectural digest 100 a century of style book it is so aesthetically pleasing it is this beautiful canvas material. And of course, this is another book that I like to flip to different pages and just have it open to create a different feel in the room. Um, it's a beautiful book. I've gotten so much inspiration for decor and styling my home with this book. I actually believe I picked this one up at Amazon as well. So I'll be sure to link the Architectural Digest book down below. Next up, I have all three of the Kim Folk books. Kim Folk is actually one of my favorite magazines. I love the articles. They range from everything from dating to living to fashion. And I love how it feels as well. They use this really nice like wax paper. If you've never heard of Kim Folk, definitely check it out. One of the only magazines I actually read from cover to cover and actually feel smarter 
after I read it. Kim Folk Magazine has come out with a few different books and I have the trio of their books, which is Kim Folk Entrepreneur. And this is a book written all about different entrepreneurs who started businesses all over the world, what it took to start those businesses, tips that they have to like excel at your business and at, and at entrepreneurship. And this book was one of the driving forces into like making me want to become a full-time content creator. If you feel stagnant, if you feel like you don't know where to start, there are so many stories in here that will just light a fire under you that will just make you think you can do anything and you can and to go ahead and start that business now these businesses in this book are all across the spectrum um some are designers some are stylists i mean so much from all different walks of life so definitely check out kim folk entrepreneur i will link it down below next up this one I got myself because I really want to have an outdoor garden. That's one of the things I'm going to start planning for myself. So I got the Kim Folk Garden Book. And this is all about gardening. And just to help me because I've never had a garden. I've never really grown anything outside of like my plants in my Harlem apartment. And so this is giving me a ton of tips just to get my garden started. And last but not least, from the Kim Folk books, we have Kim Folk Table. And this is all about cooking different recipes for small gatherings. If you are the hostess with the mostest, if everyone's always coming to your home during the summer, you're having barbecues, you're having little gatherings, this is the book to make you the hostess with the mostest and give you all of the recipes to make some incredible meals. I plan on doing that. I do have outdoor space. I would love to host different little dinner parties with my friends um, in the summer times. This book comes highly recommended. I've actually made a few of these recipes as well. So I will link all three Kim Folk books, Entrepreneur, Garden, and Table, and you can check them out. And last but certainly not least for books, we have the Dior New York Archive Photos. Um, this was actually the first set of books that I bought myself when I found out I was going to get an apartment in Miami last year. I bought this book. I had my girl, Rio Michelle, hold on to it for me. Um, I went back to New York, packed up all my things, and came back to Miami and moved into an apartment. So this has a special place in my heart because it does give me a little bit of New York City while I'm here in Miami. And I purchased this from a bookstore, but I believe it is still available, and so I will link it down below for you all. I did wanna give you guys a little sneak peek. You see the streets of Soho. So anytime I just wanna feel like back in New York and back at home, I can flip through the Dior New York photos. You see the yellow cabs in the back, and it just gets me a little nostalgic and you know also look how incredible the fashion is in this book i'll be sure to link the dior new york archive photo books down below you guys will absolutely love them and you will be blown away all right so let's get into my vessels and vases because i know a lot of you love them i feel like my love language is flowers candles and vases and vessels I blame Arvin Alano. If you've never watched his channel and you love home decor, you have to subscribe to him. His YouTube is the same. And I get so much inspiration from Arvin. So Arvin, if you're watching, hey, boo, hey, love you. But one of the most popular vases of all time at this point is the Love Handles vase by Ernisa Kermici. Now, this one is white marble. And I love it. I feel like it's very neutral, very dainty. This looks amazing with like white lilies coming out of it or even a very colorful bouquet because of the neutral color. And I definitely wanted something very light and bright for this area. This happens to be the darkest room in my home, but it looks pretty bright. <laughs> so I'm keeping things light and bright in the living space. 
but this vase is incredible you can find them at farfetch i believe i do have a 15 percent off code so i'll link it down below but these come in a ton of different colors i have one in black as well which is a beautiful matte black this is more of a polished like marble they come expertly packaged and i absolutely love them um, they come in a ton of different colors orange pink like a cement gray every color under the sun that you can imagine um, but these are super popular and i love them i also have another anisa kermichi piece but we'll see that once we go to my office the next vessel here is from i believe cb2 you guys have seen this one so much I love this one as well. I like to put white lilies in this because I feel like the black offsetting the white, it just looks really chic. I'm not sure if CB2 continues to make this, but if so, I will link it down below. Next up, we have another vessel. This one is from H&M. H&M does some amazing home pieces. In this vase, I like to actually sit it here when I don't have a bouquet right in the center of the table. And I like to put white tulips all the same height in it and it just looks absolutely incredible if this is still available on h and i'll link it down below if not i will just link a few of my favorite home decor pieces from h and home as well as zara home now this vessel here is also from h and i actually have two of these these are the large the large porcelain ones right now i have a what is this on here embarrassing me Right now I have some pompous grass in the one here near the TV console. This one I keep, keep on the kitchen counter. Um, but I love this vessel. It's, it's so like unique and very kind of just elevated and chic. And they do still have this at H&M, so I'll link it down below. Now I know someone is gonna ask me where do I get my pompous grass. I get all of my pompous from Etsy. There's one particular seller where you can order different bushels and you can order different heights. From this seller, I get the tallest height and the most pieces. I believe 10 pieces and I can't remember the exact height, but I will put it down below in the description box. So if you're interested in knowing exactly where I get my pompous, please check the description box. Now let me show you exactly what this pompous looks like it is stiff which i like i want my pompous to stand up straight <laughs> i don't want it leaning anywhere it comes just like this you might have to just fluff it a bit definitely do that outside of your home because and do it with gloves because they can kind of give you a splinter but what i love about this is it keeps it tight it sticks straight up and the color is very very oatmeal-y very neutral um, and I have ordered from this particular seller on Etsy at least four times for here, for my Miami apartment, as well as the pompous grass that I have in my New York apartment in my bay window area. Um, they are very, very amazing. They ship super quick. So I will link them down below if you're interested in stunning pompous grass. All right, guys. So next up, I have a few candle holders. Um, I actually picked these up from Amazon. I have two different sizes. Back in my old Miami apartment, I had a faux um, fireplace. And so I used some matte black paper to like make the um, background black. And then I used these little candle holders from Amazon and these faux candles from Amazon to create like a fake fireplace. Um, I will link both of these down below. These are great. They are battery operated and they flicker really beautifully. I'm going to turn the light down so you can see how it flickers. So when you have the lights all turned down and then you turn on these candles, it's such a vibe and a mood. If you don't want to actually set a candle, this still sets the same mood. So I believe I got the candles from, actually I got the candles from Target, but they also do have them at Amazon. I'll link them down below. They do come in different sizes. As you can see, oh, these are the same size. <laughs> but they do come in different sizes 
And these little candle stands, I got both of these from Amazon and they are just a beautiful gray with a little bit of texture. And they're different heights to just create a different vibe. So I will be sure to link both of um, the candles and they take like a super fat battery. I think they're like C batteries or D batteries, I can't remember. But they last literally forever and it does have like a little timer that if it stays on for I think more than an hour or two, it will automatically turn off, which is wonderful. Speaking of candles, I do have a lovely replica candle here. It is the Jazz Club candle. You guys, this smells so good. It smells like heaty cocktails and cigars and it really does it smells absolutely incredible now this candle was in a set of three candles that i received as a gift from margella team and i absolutely love it this is definitely my favorite one jazz club i will link it down below if i can find the entire set which i unboxed in a miami vlog when i was staying at the w hotel and i did a room tour there I will link the entire set with three candles and it also came with this super cute box of long matches. Now long matches are a vibe, they're a vibe. They're also white. They have a white tip and they're thick black matches and then you can just strike them here on the side and this was also from I don't know if you can see it on the box, but it does say Mason Margiela there. So I'll link these candles down below. I'll link the entire set so you can also get the really cool like box of candlesticks as well. And I absolutely love just striking one and <laughs> lighting up the candle. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but lighting a match and hearing that little sound and seeing a fire, like I love it. Now speaking more of candles, I do have a few of these female form candles throughout my home. Some of them are from a black owned business, which I would have shown you guys in a previous video. Um, and some of them actually came from, I believe, was it Nasty Gal? Or was it Boohoo? One of those places, either Boohoo or Nasty Gal also sells like home decor can you believe it they come in all different shapes sizes and colors so i'll link a few of these down below if you guys are interested in the female form candles now also under here in this little space i have a wine rack i got this wine rack from amazon i just needed something very thin that would fit into the cubby and this works out perfectly i just stack my wines in here and they're very easy to grab. I also have a few rubber coasters that I just got in from Amazon as well. They're black. They're from the brand Barvivo. Um, and so if you want just some really quick and easy rubber coasters, definitely check those out. I will link them down below. Now I've already gone over pretty much everything you see here. So I have a few more vessels that I forgot to show you all. This one was actually a piece I picked up from Marshalls. Again, Marshalls, you can shop online for home decor books and home decor pieces. I believe this one was maybe like 15 bucks, but I love the texture on it and the super cute handle. This is probably going to go out in like my patio garden area. I also picked up a ton of these glass cylinder vases from Amazon. I have them in different lengths. Um, I have a few on the sink that I use to put like wooden spoons and things and spatulas in and another I might put a few like lavender or flowers in or even a little bit of pompous. I will link these down below as well. They just add a little dimension with the glass instead of you know it being so cream and black and monotone you get a pop of green or whatever you put in here as well and lastly we have this i believe it's called a candelabra but i got this from um, crate and barrel and usually it goes on the table when there is not a floral arrangement but the candlesticks are also from crate and barrel 
and the bottom half here is from Crate and Barrel. So if you're looking for a really nice candelabra, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay in this space or go somewhere else. I believe they still have this one, so I'll link it down below. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for my dining area, my TV area. We're gonna come over into the kitchen area. I'm gonna show you a few things I have, and then we will go to the rest of the rooms of my home. All right, guys, we have reached my kitchen area. I love my kitchen area. It's one of my favorite parts of my home. I love to cook. I'm really happy that I do have a dishwasher um, and I do have an electric oven. This is my first time having an electric oven, so I'm still getting used to it, but it looks very sleek and chic. For the backsplash, I went with white matte subway tile in a very thick, long length because it reminds me of New York. <laughs> and I wanted something that was very kind of clean and minimalistic so that, you know, if I ever sell this place, it's not so personal to me that it would have to be changed. I also wanted something that is easily cleanable. So that's why I went with this white matte backsplash. For the, all of the accessories on the cabinets and things, I went with a black matte. I just think it looks very clean, very elegant, very chic and also just easy for someone to conform to if they wanted to just move in. And I specifically chose this faucet because my sink is a very deep sink and I love this faucet that it swivels. The head swivels. It also has two forms of water and then it also can become a spray. <laughs> And so I really love that about this faucet. It's like one of my favorite things. Now on the countertops here, I don't keep much because these counters, I'm already kind of regretting this, this top. Um, it's pretty durable, but it does scratch very easily. Another vessel we have here is from, uh, I believe this is from Crate and Barrel or CB2. Now what I do is I usually put my bananas, my oranges, my fresh fruit here. It is nearing the end of the week, so I have already eaten everything, and I need to make a Trader Joe's run soon. I'm actually gonna do a Trader Joe's like haul soon, stay tuned for that. But I will link this down below because it's a wonderful fruit bowl, and it's still available. Now behind my fruit bowl, I have my Alexa machine, which is wonderful. I use this Alexa to speak to basically my house. I can ask it the weather, I can ask it a recipe, I can start a timer. It's called an, a dot, an echo dot. I'll be sure to link it down below, it's incredible. I usually hide it behind my fruit bowl so you don't even see it, which is great. So I've definitely been getting more into cooking. There will be a lot more cooking on this channel, y'all, so stay tuned. But I finally pulled out my cookbook, Only the Good Stuff, from Pure Wow. If you all didn't know, I'm one of um, the Pure Wow like influencers. Um, I've gone to a ton of their events. I've been featured on their website a ton. But they made this book especially for me. And I've actually cooked a few things in here. Um, and so I cannot wait to share some of these recipes with you from breakfast to lunch to delicious and savory like desserts. Look, skillet steak with asparagus and potatoes. Oh, so good. Anywho, I'm not sure if they actually sell this book, but if they do, I'll link it down below. Really amazing, quick and easy and super savory recipes. So I just wanted to keep this on my counter to remind myself to cook and to eat well and live well. Here we have another one of those vases from Amazon, this one is shorter. I usually put a daisy or two or some fresh lavender in here just to give the room a fresh, super delicious smell. If you happen to have a Primark in your area, they sell fresh lavender, ugh, dried lavender, so, so good. They also sell eucalyptus. So definitely check out Primark for that, but I will link a few places to get some amazing lavender and eucalyptus for your home to use as home decor and also to add just a lovely scent to any area in your home. I also have another one of those vases that I use to put 
my spatula is in and I just think it looks very rustic and very nice. As you can see, this one is shorter. This one is taller. Again, they come in a set of different sizes from Amazon. So I'll link them down below and you can check them out. And of course, we have some Method. This is Method Sweet Water Hand Wash. It's a foaming hand wash. My girl Rhea Michelle got me hooked on this hand wash. It smells so incredible, very fresh, very sweet, very clean. And also Method is a brand that is all about clean, being clean. And so I not only have their hand soap, I also have a lot of their cleaners throughout my house, all in one purpose cleaners for cleaning floors, counters, windows, anything in the bathroom. And I also use some of their um, detergent as well. So I'll link this down below in case any of you are interested. Now, when it comes to cookware, you all know that our place is my favorite. I love their pots. They're all very aesthetically pleasing. You can cook in a new, you can cook in numerous ways with their pots and pans. Here is one of my favorites. It's their pretty much all in one, very popular pot. You guys, it's everything. It does come with a strainer or a steamer inside. Um, it is it is stick free, so nothing sticks. It's beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. The handle is rubber. It never gets hot. Like it's this is a wonderful pot and pan brand. Um, I have like a terracotta color. I have this color. They have charcoal gray like a neutral nude and all of them are matte, which is really, really beautiful. The top handle of this is rubber as well. Just stunning pans. I will link the brand down below and you can check them out. If you're really into like aesthetics, everything looking very clean and actually also working in numerous ways so you get more bang for your buck, definitely check out our place. It also has a little button there and that's the hook for your spatula and then your spatula just slides in right there while you're cooking which is great. And last but not least for the kitchen of course I have my Nespresso Virtual Line coffee maker. I absolutely love it. This version is not the newest version. This is the round version which is a little bit cheaper. Um, it has a round cylinder on the side that you can fill with water and this only makes espresso and coffee. This does not make tea. I do not have a frother for this machine. I don't need a frother. I normally just drink coffee with a little bit of oat milk. I absolutely love this machine. I've had it for a while. I also have another one on the way that I'm going to put in my office as well. These machines pay for themselves. They only cost about anywhere from 150 or 120 if it's on sale to 200 bucks. It pays for itself. The coffee pods are $10 for 10. I mean, you're literally paying a dollar for a coffee. So of course it pays for itself when you consider that, you know, you go to Starbucks, you're spending at least $6 every time you go. So love this machine. I will link it down below. Now I am a coffee mug snob. This one is my favorite. It's a white porcelain mug from Target. I have six of these. I believe they are $4 a piece. Totally worth it. They are super thick, very big, perfect for your big cup of coffee in the morning. I also really love the clear cups from Nespresso. They come in a few different sizes. You get these from the Nespresso store or the Nespresso website. These are great if you're like making a coffee for a video <laughs> or if you just want to see your coffee and how dark it is or how light it is. It just looks really cool as well. So when it comes to my coffee mugs, I'm either going with this Target one, which I've linked down below. I believe these also come in black or a clear one from Nespresso. Now, if you don't want the clear ones from Nespresso, which can run you a little bit of money, I've linked similars down below from Amazon and a few other places um, where it doesn't have anything on it. It's just a glass cup. I'm pretty sure it's CB2, Crate and & Barrel, and West Elm also have them. All right, love, so that's it so far for the living room, dining room, 
kitchen area. I am gonna take you all to my bedroom, show you a little bit of my bed and my bedding, and then we will end off in my office. But as I collect more bigger pieces of furniture, I'm having things custom built. Um, I'm having a closet custom built, um, some under the stair storage custom built. Um, I've ordered couches and other big pieces of furniture. I will definitely keep you guys updated with the home decor um, coming into my area. So let's head to where the magic happens. All right guys, welcome to my bedroom. It is very empty. <laughs> Literally the only thing I have in my bedroom right now is my bed. Nothing else is in here. Literally nothing. The walls are very white <laughs> and I still have my exact same bed from my a Miami apartment. It is the CB2 Crate and Barrel bed. I love this bed. It's so comfortable. The bedding is from I believe Target currently and then at the bottom of the bed I have a throw that is from Parachute Home. Let me tell you guys Parachute Home makes the absolute best sheets. They have this sheet, I believe it's called the Cloud Comforter. I have two. I currently don't have them on my beds right now. They are being washed, but I have the Cloud Comforter in white. I also have the Cloud Comforter in a beautiful kind of oatmeal. Stunning, so cozy, very, very expensive. <laughs> very, very expensive, but totally worth it. I feel like when you sleep as much as you do, it needs to be comfortable. And so one of the areas I don't mind spending money when it comes to my home decor is definitely bedding. The pillow shams and also the blanket here at the foot of the bed are both from Parachute Home. And then I have a few throw pillows that I believe I picked up from Walmart. Um, and then I have these amazing gel pillows these gel pillows are incredible. Over the gel pillows, I have jersey sheets. Those are the actual pillows I sleep on. The rest, they literally just get thrown away. If you're interested in these gel pillows, they are from Amazon. My girl, Rio Michelle, told me all about them and I have been obsessed with them ever since. I even bought the same pillows for my home in Harlem. I will link them down below. They are from Amazon and they are incredible the mattress because i get so many questions about this mattress people are always like oh i watched your old video when you first got your mattress for your miami apartment i forgot where it's from please 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 can you tell us again where the mattress is from now my girl janae of hilo lux is the one who told me about this mattress i got this mattress from amazon you need to go with the height of whatever your bed frame is it doesn't matter what <laughs> bed frame or what height mine is because a few people are like well, what height did you get that's irrelevant my bed frame only takes a certain mattress so it depends on your bed frame but it is a kind of like a gel cooling body conforming mattress it comes rolled up in like a box and then it just unfolds when you take it out it takes about a day for it to reach its peak firmness but you guys this mattress is the mattress of dreams if you're looking for an incredible mattress i will link it down below it's from amazon all right loves that's pretty much it for the bed and the bedroom because there's nothing else in here i do have a bathroom in here as well but we're just going to skip that for now let's go ahead to my pretty much my office closet workspace all right guys, so we're here in my office, my closet, my workspace. My walk-in closet is actually behind here, but it is seriously just an empty box. Um, I'm actually having a custom closet built. So I will walk you guys through that process once it begins. The only thing that's pretty much set up in here is my packs kind of closet piece. I had this from my old Miami apartment. It's just a PAX closet system with a rollout foot bench here at the bottom. I have three drawers and then I have two pull-out accessory drawers. One for my sunglasses and belts and another for all of my like earrings necklaces and jewelry. I also have a few like bags and shoes that I wear the most. 
here on the outside instead of in my closet because I reach for those more often. Up here, I have a shelf that actually rolls out to make it easier to grab like my Celine shoes or this cute new in Jacquemus bag or probably my most worn bag in my wardrobe at the moment, this black Balenciaga hourglass. Um, so just anything I need easy access to, I put here. Um, I do also have another Anissa Cremici vase here and it's pretty much the boob vase. <laughs> That's what everyone likes to call it. I actually chipped this one a long time ago, but this one is really a fun piece. It comes in a ton of different colors. Um, I like to put the layer necklaces on her and put really fun bouquets there as well. I feel like one of my favorite pastimes now is like arranging bouquets around my home. It's really nice to have beautiful vases and I'll be sure to link this one down below. Again, I have a few more body form candles. These are from a black owned business here in this space. I'm not sure if these things will stay here, but eventually everything will find its home. I'm having some custom shelving put into this room as well. Um, and then I just have all of my fragrances here that I wear the most. All right guys, and because my closet is not exactly built yet, there are no shelves, there are no poles, nothing. I have to have it custom built from top to bottom. I have ordered two heavy duty rolling racks from Amazon. These literally came in like a day, which is incredible to put all of my dresses and hang all of my bags on until everything gets sorted out with my closet. So I have two of these on either side of the room just filled with all of my clothes at the moment. Anything that is not foldable and that I can put here into my PAX closet is hanging here. And these are really amazing hangers as well. They are wooden hangers that I also got from Amazon. They come in like boxes of 50. And I think I used like, I probably ordered maybe five boxes. <laughs> what can I say? Your girl has a lot of things. But what I love about these is that they are super sleek. They have like a polished feel. Um, and you can also hang pants on them. And I love these little dips for your dresses and things. And they just look very uniform, very clean very kind of minimal. They don't snag, they don't break. They are amazing. So if you're looking for a really nice hanger with like a light birch wood color, and they are also lacquered, um, so they don't give you splinters and such, um, these are from Amazon as well, and I'll link them down below. All right guys, so other than my two rolling racks and this PAX closet, there is literally nothing else in this room. I got rid of my old desk and my old chair from my Miami apartment, and I will be getting um, a brand new whole office space. I'm gonna turn this space into an office, a closet, and kind of like a spare bedroom as well. We will end the video in my favorite part of the house, <laughs> which if you watch my Insta stories, you see it quite often. I don't know why this is my favorite area, but it is. Let's head to it. All right, you guys, so this hallway is actually my favorite area of the house. I know it's very weird, it's very echoey in here also, but I don't know what it is about this space. I love this hallway, it is my favorite area in the house because the light here is so incredible. I get light from three sides right here in my home, which is why I put my selfie mirror here to my right. Um, this mirror is actually from West Elm. I also have another one in my office space and I kind of regret buying this mirror because it is a funny mirror. It makes you look a little bit wider than you are. And this mirror was very expensive and I have two, but I will be getting rid of both of them and just going with my normal like Ikea mirror, the same mirror that I have in my Harlem apartment. But the reason I love this hallway is because there is a beautiful picture frame window right behind you guys. And I can see nothing but giant um, birds of paradise. These plants in the wild can grow to like five stories tall. And they're just dancing outside my window. They remind me of my plants 
back in Harlem. Just being able to wake up and walk through this hallway and see those beautiful green plants, like it just warms my heart. I'm not sure if I will be getting live plants for my home, um, just because I will be going back and forth and it's a lot of upkeep to try to keep live plants alive. Um, I do have someone in my Harlem space that is taking care of my plants there. And for all of you asking, I am not bringing those plants here. My White Bird of Paradise plant in my Harlem apartment, I have named her Amelia. She cannot fit through the hallway. There's no way I can bring her, bring her here. So no, I won't be bringing my plants here. Maybe I'll get plants, I don't know yet. We will see. For me, that's a lot of responsibility because I will clearly have to hire someone to take care of them while I'm away. And I don't like people in my space when I'm not there. So that's just me. <laughs> but we shall see. Maybe we will get some faux greenery in this space. There's a lot of little like nooks that I want to dress up with different cabinets and floating shelves. And as all of those things come in, we will do tons of home decor videos. So that is all that I'm going to show you all today. But if you have enjoyed today's video, please do give me a thumbs up. I would love to get at least 5,000 likes on this video. That helps to push my videos out to more people. Um, that helps more people to see me, more people to subscribe, and help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. Stay tuned, there are gonna to be tons of hauls. I have an Amazon haul coming up, fully home decor. I have a, like a Trader Joe's, what I buy, what I eat um, video coming up. I also have a work week reset day video coming up, specifically for entrepreneurs and creatives, but if you work a nine to five, you can also incorporate some of those things into your routines, just reset and rejuvenate for a productive work week ahead um, and also some cooking videos as well. Remember everything you've seen in today's video including my outfit is linked down below in the description box and thank you guys so much for coming and checking out my home and my new and home decor pieces with me and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.